Hi there. Uh, well, here she is, my long-awaited Honda CRF250L Rally. Um, funny thing is, um, I bought this bike secondhand, and uh, way back in a past life, I actually rode this bike uh, to a motorcycle rally down near Mount Ruapehu and camped in the very cold um, and had a whale of a time. Um, but the reason I got this bike is pretty simple. It's a Japanese dual sport, so it's nice and reliable, nice and easy going, not high maintenance at all. It's got 12,000 kilometer service intervals, um, but the local Honda dealership, which I got it off, Honda Hamilton, great dudes. Uh, I recommend doing it a bit more frequently than that. That way you're definitely on top of all your maintenance requirements. Um, but yeah, Honda Rally, Rosie the Rally as I call her. Um, I love this little bike. Um, Purchased second hand as I've said already. Um, she's got about four and a half thousand kilometers on her and she's great fun. Um, I've done a few mods to it of course. Um, so this is kind of an ownership review in the very short time I've had it. Um, I've whacked some bark busters on, uh, the jet kit I got from bitsforbikes.co.nz um, and that was nice easy install and it's going to protect my levers which um, I really don't want to go braking. So why did I choose the Honda Rally in the end? Um, came down to a few things but top of my list of course was safety and comfort. The Rally's got the great little rally screen up front there with the high mounted dash which is really good you can see it just at a quick glance know exactly what you're doing the one downside to the dash of course is it doesn't have a gear position indicator but you're changing gears so frequently on the rally anyway being a 24 horsepower single cylinder that's it's not really a big deal um, some people have added them I know but I'm fine without a gear change indicator um, the other reason I bought the Rally, of course, was the fact that it comes with ABS, which is switchable to the rear. So you can turn the rear ABS off and skid about like it's a BMX. Um, but yeah, nice and safe on the road. This is going to do a lot of road miles, this bike. Um, my job is as a motorcycle reviewer. I do a bit of reviewing for a couple of magazines here in New Zealand. Um, so the little Rally will getting, be getting driven up from my base in the Waikato to distributors in Auckland dumped there while I ride their shiny new bikes and review them and then ridden home again. It's a great little starter adventure bike so I plan on doing the dusty butt one day. Before I do that I need to get to grips with the bike. I'm not an adventure rider by any means. Um, my skills are quite low um, so we're going to find out just how uh, good it is as a beginner bike uh, purely from an experiential point of view. So it's got all the things that you want in a starter adventure bike. You've got your rider protection with the screen and the fairing. A uh, nice mellow engine that's easy to control. Uh, looks absolutely awesome, if I don't say so myself. Um, bare claw pegs, uh, knobby tyres, uh, wire wheels, all that kind of jazz. It's lacking uh, significantly in the luggage department. There's nothing back here for luggage, uh, so I'll need to address that. Um, and also the factory tyres. I bought this bike second hand, so it's still running the IRC knobblies but they're getting a bit squared off at the back so I'll be looking at getting something a bit more well suited for my needs primarily and then when it comes to doing those big adventure rides we'll look at something more uh, aggressive shall we say. Uh, very much looking forward to uh, the remote Moto North Island maps which are all getting loaded up now as well which will be very fun to go explore with this. Um, and I keep coming back to it and I keep forgetting to say it, why did I buy this bike? I tried a couple of other Japanese dual sports, they were great. Um, the biggest downside to the rally is of course it's suspension. It's very soggy, very soft, but that's also a good thing. I'm learning around here, as soon as I start maxing out the suspension, then I can take it to Moto SR or one of the other great Kiwi suspension specialists and get that suspension sorted out, which is not going to be cheap. But uh, for now, I'm absolutely in love with this bike. Um, it's not powerful, it shouldn't be as much fun as it is, but it's great. On the twisty roads, just linking corners and tight corners, it feels like a motard. Uh, there's no way these IRC tyres should be as grippy on the tarmac as they are, but they are. Um, the bike, it's a small engine, you're constantly changing gears, and I don't know, for some reason I really enjoy that. Uh, there's always just hunting for that little bit of uh, extra power. Um, so 
So the plan is for this bike to do it up a wee bit. Um, the next big ticket item on my list is to source a rear rack and also sort out these tyres. Been looking around, I might go for the Dunlop D605. It just looks like it's a little bit more of a mellow, more road suited tyre, but still has the uh, grip we needed to go on gravel roads. Um, riding on gravel is absolute fun. Love it. Um, and as we sort of go along the trails, who knows what else this will uh, get done to it. Heated grips might be a good option for riding in the winter, um, and a GPS maybe, but other than that, she's uh, not going to go too wild at this stage, but down the track, um, we'll see what happens. Um, would I recommend this bike to anyone? Hell yes. Um, it's got a nice low seat height, it's under 900mm for the rally, so I'm ooh, 176 centimetres tall, I can swing a leg over this thing fine. The suspension sags down so I can easily get a foot planted down. As I've said constantly, this power is mellow, 24 horsepower at the crank. Um, it's not an intimidating bike in the slightest. And at 157 kilos, I think, with a full tank of gas, which admittedly is only 10 litres, um, it's nice and light. I could pick this up if I wanted to, um, which was one of the reasons I bought it second hand, to be honest, apart from it being um, a bike that I'd built an emotional attachment to. It's got a few bumps and scratches, the fairings have a couple of gouges in them, the HRC graphics are a bit worn, um, but that just means I'm not going to baby this thing, I'm going to ride it, I'm going to enjoy it, and that's what a motorcycle's for. Um, so stick around, I'm planning to do a few updates uh, on the rally and how it's going, plan to do an adventure riding course uh, later in the year to sharpen my skills, um, and I would entertain myself by trying to film that and uh, share it with you. Uh, so till then, stick around, keep calm, throw along. Mm -hmm.